Today, I'll demonstrate how you can use 11 Labs Text to Speech GPT to create audio from text. The inspiration came from a tweet by Amar Reshi, who introduced this GPT to the public. The link to his profile is in the description. He's been experimenting with a proof of concept using 11 Labs API. Interestingly, 11 Labs is offering free credits to test out his concept. It's worth noting that this isn't an official GPT by 11 Labs. I'll begin with a simple demo before diving into more advanced use case. To begin, I'll guide you on how to find this GPT. Simply, click on the Explore GPTs option located in the left sidebar to access the GPT store. Type 11 Labs into the search bar. Then, select the GPT created by Amar Reshi. You'll find two conversation starters here. The first one, invites you to input text for audio conversion. The second option offers to craft a short story, and then, turn it into audio. I'm selecting the story option. Next, it prompts me to choose a preferred voice. The available options includes, Jarvis, a classic male narrator, and a classic female narrator. I am selecting the male narrator option. Now, ChatGPT is composing a simple story. Next, it prompts us to wait while the audio version of the story is created. Starting action, means it's connecting to an external server, specifically, accessing a service from 11 Labs. Next, it seeks my permission to establish the server connection. I'll go ahead and confirm this action. After confirming, we might need to wait a while, depending on the length of the text. Now, I'm getting an audio file, with a download link. Let's listen to the entire audio. If you wish, you can skip ahead to the next example. In a small, picturesque village, nestled between rolling hills and a serene lake, there lived an old watchmaker named Elias. His shop, a cozy haven filled with the gentle ticking of countless clocks, was a testament to his life's work. Elias was known far and wide for his extraordinary skill in crafting and repairing timepieces, but what truly made him special was his secret. He possessed an ancient pocket watch that could manipulate time. With a careful turn of its hands, he could rewind a few moments, hastening his work or savoring sweet moments a little longer. One rainy evening, as the village lanterns flickered to life, a young woman named Lila entered his shop. Her eyes were filled with determination and a hint of desperation. She pleaded with Elias to use his magical watch to go back in time and save her family from a tragedy that had befallen them years ago. Moved by her story, Elias faced a heart-wrenching decision. He knew the dangers of altering the past, but Lila's sorrow reminded him of his own losses. That night, under the soft luminescence of his workshop, Elias made a choice that would forever alter their fates, embarking on a journey through time where each second held the weight of a lifetime. As demonstrated, creating audiobooks with this method is quite straightforward. At the moment, we have the privilege of using this GPT for free. But, at some point, we will need to purchase credits from 11 Labs. Next, I'm going to try creating a script for a YouTube video, and then, use this GPT to generate the voiceover. I'll search for YouTube, to locate a suitable GPT for creating the transcript. I'll choose the YouTube Transcript Wizard GPT. There are several conversation starters available. Rather than using these predefined starters, I'm going to directly specify my requirements. I want to create a one-minute video on how procrastination affects our behavior. Can you write the script in a professional tone, for people between 20 to 30 years, who are struggling with procrastination? Let's see how this turns out. It's my first time using this GPT. Here's what the response looks like. It begins with the video title. The content is then structured into three key sections. Introduction, body, and conclusion, with suggested timings for each. The narrative for each section is provided, ready for use in the video. Now, I am integrating the 11 Labs text-to-speech GPT for this task. To access it, simply type the at sign, 
which brings up a panel like this. Next, I'll search for 11 labs. Since it's a tool I've utilized recently, it appears among the suggestions. After selecting it, the interface indicates, talking to 11 labs text to speech. Now I'm going to say, take the narrations and create me an audio file. As expected, it prompts for the preferred voice. This time, I'll opt for the female narrator voice. I'll go ahead and confirm the action, as I usually do. Creating the audio file does take a moment. Now, the audio file is ready. Let's see if the audio matches the narration. Title, The Impact of Procrastination on Our Behavior. Intro 0, 10 seconds. Narrator, have you ever delayed a task knowing it's important? It appears that the audio file includes not only the narrations, but also the title, section headings, and timeframes. I only wanted the narrations. Let's see if I can adjust this. Here's my updated prompt. Don't take the titles or sections within these square brackets. Let me paste an example. Only take the narrations and create the audio file. Let's see if this adjustment makes a difference. I'll go ahead and confirm the action, then wait for the new audio file to be generated. Now, let's play the revised version. Have you ever delayed a task knowing it's important? You're not alone. Today we explore how procrastination influences our behavior. Procrastination isn't just about poor time management. It's a complex behavioral issue. Research shows that when we procrastinate, we're not only delaying tasks but also impacting our mental health. First there's the stress. As deadlines loom, stress levels spike, affecting our well-being. Then there's the guilt. A heavy feeling that we're not living up to our potential. But why do we procrastinate? It's often a coping mechanism. Avoiding challenging tasks temporarily relieves anxiety. However, this relief is short-lived. Over time, this habit can lead to chronic stress, decreased productivity and even depression. Understanding this cycle is crucial. Once we recognize procrastination as a behavioral pattern rather than just laziness, we can start to address it. Breaking the procrastination cycle begins with small, manageable steps setting realistic goals, creating a supportive environment, and forgiving ourselves for past procrastination are key. Remember, it's not about working harder, but smarter and healthier. Don't let procrastination define you. Take charge and pave the way for a more productive and fulfilling life. As you can see, it worked perfectly. With the new prompt, it removed unnecessary sections and only used the narrations. This is a super cool GPT. We already created an audiobook, as well as voiceover for a video. This GPT, with 11 Labs API, has huge potential. Hopefully, we will be able to continue using it in future, for a reasonable price. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more AI related videos.